गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर इंजॉइंग योर समर वेकेशन विद द समर कैम्प यस वी आर कंटिन्यूसली इन टच थ्रू आवर वर्चुअल समर कैम्प 2020. टुडे वी विल गो फॉर द सेकेंड सेशन ऑफ द समर वर्चुअल समर कैम्प अंडर द साइंस Today we will discuss about the new topic. Are you ready? Okay. We will discuss about the most important natural resource, soil, from which we get the all different types of the food items, basically plants and plant products. Especially class second students, you know, we finished our chapter. in that you learn about the animal product and plant product so basically we will discuss today about the plant products under the topic soil crop and different types of the plants got it here we uh, where we will know about the soil what is the soil the uppermost layer of the earth in which plants grow a black or dark brown material typically consisting of the mixture of organic remains organic remains means which are biologically decompose easily or mix in soil that things are called as organic material clay and rock particles that is called soil soils are complex mixture of minerals water air organic matter and countless organism that are the decaying remain of once living things it it means soil forms the forms at the surface of land it is the skin of the earth also we can say soil is capable of supporting the plant life and it's vital to life on the earth it is a natural resource means in uh, other word we can define the soil like this soil is the mixture of different things which i said now okay these are the things which are present in the soil here you can see the picture of the soil okay and plants which grow in the soil in general we divide the soil in three category sandy soil clay soil or loamy soil clay soil or clay soil first one sandy soil and this classification of the soils are mainly based on the texture of proportion and different forms of organic and minerals compositions of the soil means the soil particles uh, first sandy soil a kind of the soil in which particles are bigger and they are more porous and they cannot hold the water more or for a long time that is called as sandy soil another one is there in a kind of the soil in which particles are very fine and they are smooth and capable to hold the water for a long time that are called clay soil or clay soil which are used to be used to make the toys also third one is the loamy soil loamy soil is a mixture of the sandy and clay soil got it and this loamy soil is very good for the plants or it is very nice for cropping another term related to the soil it is pedology pedology is the branch of the science in which we study about the soils especially its formation how the soil form nature of the soil and classification of the soil so what is the pedology pedology is the branch of science in which we deals about the soil their formation their nature their texture and classification and a person who practices pedology is called as pedologist got it good now soil what is the use of the soil basically growing of plants and there are so many uses and that soil provide the shelter to the different kind of organisms which live in the soil the first question is here 
is gardening good for the anxiety studies have found gardening and horticulture therapy can reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression lower cortisol the stress hormone your brain also benefit from time spent in the garden being outside in the fresh air and sunshine is an effective way to boost your or our mood and de stress in fact gardening has shown to be helpful in reducing the risk of depression how we can start a garden first of all we have to select the right place or right site where the soil is good for the plants studying a garden in just like a real estate it is all about the location means what is the location what should be the location of a garden okay must and that site must be must getting the sunlight in a good condition and this should be the site means that soil or that land or part of the place should be close to the water supply start with the great soil okay in this way we can select first the place where we have to develop the garden a person who is growing the flowers in a garden is called as a gardener and if you grow vegetables professionally you will call as a farmer not only vegetables means when we grow the plants or things like crop any kind of the eating uh, items like uh, rice wheat barley on a large scale or commercially then it is called as that person will be called as farmer what are the essential tools for gardening first will borrow will borrow you saw near the any constructing site the people or the person or laborer who are using to carry the sand and other heavy items from one place to another place that is called as will borrow it is used to easily transport the things okay <coughs> in garden also we will use this to carry the soil to carry the other things okay here you can see the picture of the soil okay and plants which grow in the soil now soil what is the use of the soil basically growing of plants and there are so many uses and that soil provide the shelter to the different kind of organisms which live in the soil the first question is here is in this slide you can see the garden trowel it is a small in size and used to make the small Uh, means we can use to dig the soil for transplanting the seedling from one place to another place or from nursery to the its other place okay in this slide you can see the two different types of the hoe hoe it is basically called as spade it is used to dig the soil for the preparation of the soil to so the seed or putting the seedlings in this slide you can see the type of the plants basically the plants are classified into five group first one is herbs herbs are the small size plant in which a stem is green soft and delicate okay you can see the example of the herbs in the slide shrubs shrubs are the medium sized woody plant taller than the herbs and shorter than the trees you can see the different shrubs name here how we can start a garden first of all we have to select the right place or right site where the soil is good for the plants 
studying a garden in just like a real estate it is all about the location in general we divide the soil in three category sandy soil clay soil or loamy soil clay soil or clay soil first one sandy soil and this classification of the soils are mainly based on the texture of proportion and different forms of or creepers creepers are the plants or uh, a small size they are just grow close to the ground and are spread in all directions that's why they are called as creepers you can see the name of creepers here when we grow the different these plants or the types of the plant on a large scale or commercial scale then it is called as crop what is the crop crop crops are the kind of plant when we grow on a large scale and that plant should be of the same kind suppose we grow the you saw the rice field you saw the wheat field where you know in a big piece of land grow only rice sometime we grow the wheat sometime we grow the sunflower sometime we grow the different visit other vegetables on a large scale then that plants or that vegetable that cereals that rice or that wheat is not ca called as a plant only they are called as the crop what it what is the crop means similar type of the plants grow on a large scale for commercial purpose that is called as crop in this way today we will close our topic up to here what we saw first we saw the soil then after what is gardening what is the gardener who is the farmer then after different type of the soil then after we saw the different type of plants got it so i hope you will get some information from here okay thank you we will discuss about the most important natural resource soil from which we get the